Frank Mezzano, then a New York City police officer, arrived as the second tower fell and spent a week in the dust and debris at ground zero. Now 43 years old and retired, his doctors say he has pulmonary fibrosis and will eventually need a lung transplant. It's hard watching my kids playing. I'm not able to play with them. It seems like I'm always in the background. The recovery work went on for more than nine months with about 40,000 working on the pile and breathing in the toxic mix. It, it was just hard to breathe. It was, they said it was just dust. Obviously, it was more than that. A lot more, including jet fuel, pulverized concrete, asbestos, PCBs, and human remains. Now some 10,000 Ground Zero responders, including police officers, firefighters, and construction workers, will finally vote on a settlement to compensate them for their exposure. If 100 percent agree, it's $657 million funded by taxpayers. If 95 percent agree, it falls to $575 million. Less than 95 percent, the deal is off. Each person could get an amount ranging from several thousand to more than $1 million, depending on injuries. First responder Mike McCormick says he has respiratory problems from his time at Ground Zero and objects to the one-third lawyers are reported to get from the settlement. The settlement is deplorable. It's, it's, it's just another slap in the face to the 9-11 responders. Frank Mazzano is taking the deal. It, it may not help me, but it can help my family. So that's what it's all about at this point, is to help my family. And there's another $25 million set aside just in case some workers get sick in the future. Ground Zero workers will have to vote to reject or accept the settlement within 90 days. Katie? Michelle Miller, thanks very much, Michelle.